Hi, MashMail12.com. On this video, I'm going to show you how to test the mail function in PHP on your local host. Um, now, to actually use the mail function on local host, you will need to um, have a mail server, which can be very hard to set up on local host. And to be honest, there is no point really. So, what I found is a testing tool that will just catch any any emails that are sent from the mail function um, and display them in I think a text document um, just so you can get an idea as to if the uh, mail function is working and producing the right results so this is a great way just to test um, if you want to test on localhost um, so you're not actually sending emails it's just sort of like a little testing which is a lot better than just setting up a mail server which is kind of pointless on a local host. Um, okay, so first of all, we need to go to a download page, um, and it's called toolheap.com forward slash test dash mail dash server dash tool. Um, I'll put the link in the description as well so you don't have to uh, type this out. Um, basically, it's just a simple little tool. So, what you can do is click download down here. Click download test mail server tool. This will give you a download link. Um, once that's done, run the exe file, um, and this will take you through the installation. So next, um, next, whatever. Click next, and this will just install. It shouldn't take too long. There we go. It's done. Close that, and if we just minimise this, um, here is the. Uh, well, you get a manual here as well. I'm just going to uh, put that in the bin because I don't need it. And here is the test mail tool. Um, so what you need to do is double click on this and it looks like nothing has happened. But what has actually happened is down here in the, uh, the toolbar at the bottom, you'll get the test mail server tool and it says running. What you can do is double click on this or right click and go to options. Um, this will give you the port to listen on. By default, it's 25 because um, that's just default with uh, SMT, SMTP servers and you know PHP mail. Um, that just opens them, and this is where they will be saved. So on my desktop, um, a folder will be created called Mail Sent to Local Server, um, and the text file will be in there. So just click OK, and now we can just go about our normal routine of testing the mail function. So if I just uh, come here and do some PHP tags, um, and if I just put in here mail um, to anyone really, it doesn't really matter. Um, subject, subject line. Um, so actually, if I put subject as um, testing mail, actually. Um, I'll just put tutorial on testing um, and then for the actual message we can put um, testing mail function on local host and then if you want the additional headers in here um, you can put the uh, from and you know uh, whoever it's from so that's like, do not reply at it will talk or something if you really want the uh, he additional headers in there um, and that's basically what's uh, just the mail function so now if we come out um, as you can see this folder has been set up right here um, obviously that was set up before um, but it's empty so now if I just come here just make it a bit smaller so you can see um, and testing, if I just refresh this page, um, as you can see it's come over here actually, it's opened up here, um, but um, the text file has appeared here, well it's actually an email file, but you can also open it up in Notepad, um, and you know, you get the date when it was sent, the subject which is there, the to who it's going to, um, this is just basically telling you um, how it was sent so by PHP um, and it was on an index.php page um, and the additional headers there from and there's your actual um, message 
So it's a very handy little tool and it saves having to upload every time to a server um, to actually see if this is working and it's very light, it's not, um, if I just open up the task manager actually um, and show you here, go to processes um, let me see if it's on here um, there it is, test mail, so it's actually using 3 megabytes of RAM which in today's days is nothing basically so it's very light and um, you know it's it's a it's a very good handy little tool so I recommend downloading that if you if you want to test out the mail function on your local host um, so you don't have to upload to a server so thanks for watching and I will see you next time